freedom is messy. In free societies with true liberty, people will eventually fall through the cracks, drink too much, eat too much, buy unaffordable homes, fail to make prudent provision for health care, and many other things, but the price of being relieved of all of those tiresome choices by a benign paternal government is far too high. Big government is the small option. It's the guarantee of smaller freedom, smaller homes, smaller cars, smaller opportunities, smaller bank accounts for sure, and smaller lives. Now that's paraphrasing a quote from a man named Mark Stein. He's a radio personality that used to sit in for Rush Limbaugh, God rest his soul. People can make decisions in a free society, and sometimes those decisions are not good for them. Sometimes, as in large groups, they're not good for society as a whole. Battlefield of the mind. Donald Trump has said something that I'd like everyone to listen to, and please help me explain, because I can't explain it. I have analyzed the statement over and over again. I need your help on this. Very soon, we're going to be dropping a video over at the Florida Maquis Patreon channel that is going to be, well, graphic. And I'm going to do it in honor of today being the day that I can now record videos again after a seven-day suspension from YouTube for showing a pile of plastic and paint made to look like something that might exist during a zombie apocalypse. Yes, that's right. They wanted to protect you from it. The pile of plastic and paint was so damaging that they had to take me off of YouTube for seven days as a punishment to make sure I never show you a pile of plastic and paint ever again. Donald Trump has said, oh, you'd like to join us, Florida Maquis Patreon channel? One U.S. dollar. That's it. One U.S. dollar per month. Even less if you sign up for an entire year. Hundreds of videos over there. The next one might be at the next level up, though. Just to be warned, the $5 level. Because I'm going to make it extra graphic. But let's just get right to it. President Donald Trump, as long as I'm president, America will never be a socialist country. He said some version of that many, many times. Can we agree on a social definition here? A common definition? Text, an ideology arguing that citizens, citizens, not people, are best served by policies focused on meeting the basic needs of the entire society rather than on serving the needs of individuals as individuals. Now, I know all of you out there are typing about the it's when government controls the means of production. Well, one thing that I know that I've heard over and over again about this whole means of production argument is that the reason we have inflation is the cost of energy is too high. The cost of energy is too high. Now, who controls the drilling, shipping, storing, refining, buying, selling, trading, and taxing of energy? Wouldn't it be prudent then to say, and logical to say, that whoever controls all of those things would really control the price and availability of energy? But something more recent has me perplexed. Mr. Trump's also said, on my first day back in the Oval Office, I will sign an executive order getting rid of all of the extra bureaucracy and turning everything back over to the free market. Oh, no, wait. No, wait, hold on. That, that wasn't him. No, no, that's not what he said. I will sign an executive order directing every cabinet secretary and agency had to use every tool and authority at their disposal to defeat inflation and bring consumer prices rapidly down. Trump said, I will instruct my cabinet that I expect results within the first 100 days or much sooner. So it's government's job now to control the economy. No matter who it is. Now, some might argue that Donald Trump will do a much better job as president controlling the economy. But one way or the other, the economy will be controlled by the government if Kamala Harris continues with Kamalanomics, Bidenomics, Bidenflation, Kamalaflation, whatever you want to call it, that it'll get worse. But they'll be in control. Donald Trump wins. It'll get better. But they'll still be in control. One way or the other. 
See, I was reading this article from Fox News today. Fox News, of all places, that literally every other word out of their mouth is, uh, we hate socialism, we hate socialism, we hate socialism. But then, talking about states looking to ban Lucky Charms, Oreos, Flamin' Hot Cheetos, and Gatorade. Why? Well, they're from the government, and they're here to help. Remember, You remember the government, don't you? The government that told you who an essential employee, an essential worker was, and who wasn't essential, who could work, who couldn't work, what businesses could be open, what businesses couldn't be open. You remember that, don't you? Oh, but hurt thou not the oil or the wine. Gosh, where'd I heard that before? You see, it's funny, they think that all of these snacko foods, like breakfast, you know, cereals and uh, sports drinks and candy and all these things, all oh, we have to ban them. We have to ban them. They're full of this, that, and the other, and it causes tumors and cancer and all this other stuff. It couldn't possibly be anything else causing tumor and cancers and myocarditis. No, couldn't be anything else. No, no, and it's definitely, it's definitely not liquor or booze because nobody is saying one word about getting rid of any kind of booze, are they? Are they? Even though, factually speaking, alcohol is poison. The reason your liver has to break it down and the rest of your organs can't break it down is because it's toxin. That's why you basically destroy your liver every time you drink, but nobody's doing that. Oh, and six Americans die every day from alcohol poisoning, but we'll skip all over that. Oh, and whatever you do, whatever you do, because it's never been done in the United States before, even though it says United States of America Office of Price Administration, whatever you do, don't put any uh, controls like, like rationing boards or anything like that on the cost of things, because as we know, that would destroy the country as we know it. Even, even though it literally existed in this country for many, many, many years, but, but we'll continue to say that we don't live in socialism, that we live in true free market capitalism and we'll never be a socialist country. But Florida Maquis, Florida Maquis, those, those things have additives and they are banned in Europe. They are banned in Europe. Coca-Cola and chocolate cake and mineral rice and and white bread, and uh, craft uh, salad dressing, and... Oh, so now European socialism is good. Because they ban... Because Europeans ban all of this stuff. Oh, okay. So then now European socialism is good. Well, that's all I'm saying, monkey. Well, I'm saying... Okay, so when the government intervenes in the free market... When the government intervenes in the free market in order to make society better for everyone as a whole, let's see, an ideology arguing that citizens are best served by policies focusing on meeting the basic needs of the entire society rather than on serving the... Hmm. That's interesting. And this is my favorite. Candy on the chopping block. Yellow number six, yellow number five, blue number one, red number 40. Oh, red number 40. Oh, red number 40. I'll tell you what. It's, it's, it's linked to hyperactivity. That's right. Giving kids unending amounts of sugar, like Swedish Fish, M&Ms, Oreos, Gatorade, Mountain Dew, Pop-Tarts, causes hyperactivity. News at 11. It's the additives. It's not giving them an entire package of Oreos and then wondering why they're behaving like they're behaving. Is red dye number 40 contributing to your child's behavior, behavioral issues? Now, little Johnny, when, when you flipped off your third, you know, your third grade teacher today and told her to go do something that you should, I know that it was red dye number 40 that did it, little Johnny. It, it wasn't your fault that I gave you 8,500 grams of sugar before you left the house. It's your teacher. It's your teacher's fault. I mean, it has nothing to do with not doing this. No, whatever. I mean, it's just absolutely bizarre. 
all you Gen Xers out there, tell me where I'm wrong. Tell me where I'm wrong. You give you give any kid cupcakes and Fruit Loops and frosting and Doritos and and juju. What do you think is going to happen to their behavior? And yes, yes, when you eat an entire freaking box of cereal three days a week, I'll bet you're probably going to have some side effects. When you drink two liters of Mountain Dew a day, I'll bet you're going to have some side effects. I knew people that used to drink two liters of Mountain Dew do a day, and you know what they were doing? They were crawling up on top of houses, hammering in roofs, burning every ounce of it out. They weren't sitting in front of a computer screen all day, scrolling and swiping and scrolling and swiping. They were playing football. They were going to the beach. They were going for a run, working their ass off. Bricklayers and plasterers and drywallers and framers. and all, Yeah, these guys could pound that kind of stuff down all day long because they were burning it. This is socialism on steroids. You mark my words. You start down this road, you start down this road, and basically all you're going to have in five to ten years is government-approved food patty number three is now available at your local grocery store. All of you in subgroup five with authorized social media accounts may now proceed to your local grocery store for government-approved food patty number five in your allotted amounts. Anyone caught attempting to sell on the black market your government-approved food patty number five to anyone not authorized to have government-approved food patty number five, this is what's coming. Banning food additives. It's just... Uh, tell me where I messed up. Tell me where I messed up. Freedom is messy. People drink. People, the, the girl on the right here, over here, she's a congressman from Florida. And a lot of people took her to task over this. She got, made herself a Make America Great Again bathing suit and she put it on her social media and raised a bunch of money off of it. People make decisions. They do things. That sometimes are good, sometimes are bad. People like, people don't like. What are you going to do? Yes, things are expensive for sure. But when you say it's government's job to have the power to, and I, I want to get the quote right. I mean, and you can look this up. When you give somebody the power in government to sign executive orders directing cabinet secretaries and agency heads to intervene in the free market in order to cause a certain effect on the free market, how in the world is that not socialism? I'm from the government and I'm here to help. You can't discipline your kids? We'll blame the makers of Cheetos. Yep, it's flaming Hot Cheetos. Because God knows back in the 70s, nobody ate Cheetos, and it, there was just as many food colorings in flaming Hot Cheetos. Well, there weren't flaming Hot Cheetos back then, but there were Cheetos. Just that orange... Nobody was under the delusion that the orange crap on your hands after eating Doritos was anything other than dye. We didn't have the problems back in the 70s and the 80s. And yes, there were dyes in food. We, we knew there was dyes in Gatorade. There were all sorts of stuff. One thing we didn't have back then, though, was essential workers and, I guess then by definition, non-essential workers. And there are quite a few more prohibitions and restrictions back then on this than there are now. I know a lot of people don't think so, but back then, back in the 70s and 80s, this was known as, how many of you heard this term? Package liquor. Why do you think it's called package liquor? 
Why do you think it's got... You know what? I'm going to let somebody down in the comments section explain why it's called packaged liquor. You see the sign that says packaged liquor on your local liquor store? You know what that means? I'll bet you there's people out there who are probably 40 years old that don't understand what that term means and why it was put into place the way it was. Liquor stores were treated basically in the exact same way as adult gentlemen's clubs were back then. Virtually the exact same way. And I'll leave that there. So, join us. Patreon. Love to have you. It's only a buck. It's only a buck. If you want to save some money and have it be less than a buck a month, sign up for an entire year. And if you really want to go to the next level, sign up for the $5 level. Believe me, you won't be disappointed. It'll be refreshing. God bless. Pray for each other. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. Lift each other up. Like, share, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.